So guys, we've been talking about this for many, many months now, and it's come to a point where we really have to decide whether waiting out for Hardware 5 AI5 is ultimately worth losing $7,500 over, and then if it is, is it still worth waiting for if it takes over an entire year before it makes it to an official production vehicle that you can buy? Earlier this year, Elon emphasized that the upcoming AI5 chip represents such a large leap forward that Tesla may need to restrict its export outside due to federal regulations. He also noted that AI5 draws far more power at peak load, forcing Tesla to fully redesign the electrical and thermal systems, making it incompatible as a simple computer swap and requiring substantial work for any retrofits. Reports indicate that the new computer would deliver around 2500 trillion operations per second up from the 300 on hardware 4 marking more than a five-fold increase in the data compute and performance. Over the weekend, Elon shared another update on X regarding its current progress. He said that he had a strong design review with AI5 team and it's shaping up to be the most epic chip ever. He also noted that the consolidating from two-chip architecture down to one, all of Tesla's silicon engineering talent can now focus on building a single, highly optimized chip. He believes that AI5 will likely be the best inference chip available for models under 250 billion parameters, delivering the lowest cost silicon and best performance per wattage. Then now, moving forward, during the All In Summit podcast that just took place over the last few days, Information surfaced revealing even more details about what's about to arrive with Tesla's next generation full self-driving computer. During the podcast, Elon revealed that AI5 will have even more than 8 times the raw compute and nearly 4 times improvements in certain metrics compared to hardware 4. It will include 9 times more memory and given that hardware 4 includes 16 gigabytes of RAM, it appears Tesla is considering putting 144 gigabytes of memory in AI5 with nearly five times the memory bandwidth. All right, so it's without a doubt that AI5 is gonna be a monster of a chip. This is going to excel in possibly every metric. It's going to push it way to the hardware force limit. And at this point, it doesn't seem like there's an actual ceiling for what AI5 is possibly able to do. During the podcast, Elon did say that even though Hardware 4 is about to be replaced, he is confident that it will be three to four times more safer than a human driver and there's a possibility with more software down the line that it could be even 10 times worth of that. However, even with that being said, we are aware of some bottlenecks to come with AI4. And some of these include the RAM, the 16 gigabytes that are shared between both nodes. If you want to know more about that, we have an entire video dedicated just to this chip and to the RAM specifically. Go check that out. I will drop a link in the description below and up top there. This is where the ceiling has likely been hit. And this is the reason why Tesla has decided that with AI5, they are going to take a massive leap going from just 16 gigabytes all the way up to 144. Now, in other news, Tesla has quietly rolled out an update to older Hardware 3 Intel vehicles in a software update version 2025.32.2. Spotted by a user on X going by the Beat YT, he shared a side-by-side -side image showing the old and new visualization, highlighting the key changes introduced with this update. Owners with Intel Atom processors and ultrasonic sensors now keep the full full self-driving visualization when shifting into reverse instead of reverting to the older simplified graphics. Previously, Intel cars only showed the rich vector space full self-driving view when driving forward, while new AMD-based cars use Tesla's high-fidelity park assist at low speed. With this update, however, Intel vehicles now retain the detailed FSD look in both drive and reverse, making backing up more consistent and useful. Now speaking of full self-driving, Tesla has updated its camera system with a new feature called Drift Detection. If the car detects that the driver is drowsy or tired, it will show on-screen notifications suggesting the use of full self-driving to stay focused. And finally, Tesla confirmed its drop support for all wireless charging plants on the Cybertruck. Tesla's lead engineer, Wes, explained that the technology won't work efficiently because the truck sits too high off of the ground. To compensate for the height, the wireless charging base would need to be at least 6 inches tall, something he calls impractical. He added that Tesla never moved forward with wireless charging beyond the prototype stages for Cybertruck 
as the large air gap reduces efficiency, making wireless charging for a vehicle this high off of the ground simply infeasible. So there we have it guys, Hardware 5 AI5 is shaping up to be one of the most powerful, the biggest leap in full self-driving upgrades we've ever had before. Not only is it gonna be bringing more compute power, but it's gonna be bringing additional memory five to six times the increase. This is gonna provide so much more headroom for future expansion. In addition to this, the most exciting news is that Tesla has confirmed that they are working on a more comprehensive cleaning solution to come with Hardware 5. This is where it's able to possibly clean the lenses automatically and avoid any of the blocks or blindness notifications that appear on the screen. There has been references to this new hybrid sensor lens that we've spoken about a few months back to about a year back where Tesla is partnering up with Samsung to provide a new lens system that is going to be the mother of all upgrades. This is gonna be the one that fixes all the issues that we currently have on the hardware suite, including hardware four, hardware three, where it does have that additional fake dummy lens up there. If you wanna know more about all the details on that and tons of things that will be coming with this hardware suite, go check out my previous video. Again, link is in the description below and up top there. Really exciting stuff to come with this chip. But before we do head out here, I do have a question for you guys. After hearing all the details and specs from the man himself, are you more inclined to wait for Hardware 5 or pick one up now and take advantage of the $7,500? And are you going to be regretting it about a year now if Tesla decides that they are going to drop support for this version of hardware just like they did for Hardware 3. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I will of course continue to keep my eyes out for anything that comes out, anything new that is in the Tesla realm. So I would love it if you stick around, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already done so and follow me on X at Hey John E. Over there, you will see things that you would not see over here. And you can chat with me anytime and I will respond as quickly as possible. This should be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.